Hey everybody and welcome finally to Surviving Mars. Uh, I'm going to be your host today, John Newcomb. I have not seen everybody in a long time. I uh, had some pretty crazy things going on with life. Work got really busy and, you know, looking for a house to move into and all that other kind of stuff. And I have been eagerly awaiting this game. So uh, the last couple of weeks I've kind of been sitting there staring at my computer screen like Gollum uh, waiting for this game to come out. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, playthrough guides and some getting started stuff uh, and I'm, so I'm really not going to do that I'm really just going to kind of jump right into it um, one of the favorite YouTubers that I uh, my favorite YouTubers that I watch Quill18 did a fantastic uh, like beginner's guide uh, to uh, Surviving Mars I highly recommend that you check it out it looks really good um, I've actually seen every episode since I think one I think is what I haven't seen so alright let's go ahead and jump right in here uh, I'm so pumped I've been waiting for this game since it was announced last year I'm pretty pretty psyched all right, so I know that there's a, a lot of different options that excuse me that you can choose here. Uh, I am actually going to be the USA because America and freedom. Um, we're also going to do the, the commander profiles. I actually have not looked at all these. Um, this is completely my first time being in the game. I have never, I've watched a bunch of videos, but I have never played this game. I just booted it up, made sure that all my graphics settings, everything were right, and then decided to jump on in. Um, so Hydro Engineer, oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, colonist out of front of the number. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Politician, all funds and grace. Mm, that could maybe work. Martian patents, repeatable tech. Eh, meh. Futurist, uh, let me see here. Ecologist. Archaeologist. To start with a real mental review. See, I do like the rocket scientist one. I'm actually going to do that one. Um, company logo is really. Uh, doesn't do anything for the game, but it's kind of something cool that you can choose, make your own. I am definitely going to probably do uh, Serenity because I am a Firefly fan. Yeah, brown coats. Uh, so the mystery, that's kind of like the uh, the storyline, like the events that's going to happen. Um, I have been staring at this one every playthrough that I've gone through, The Last War. I really want to look, I think we're going to do that one. Either that one or Artificial Intelligence. I don't know, I saw that one. Um... I could leave it on random. I think I'm going to do... You know what? I'm going to actually do random. Leave it totally like that. All right. Jump right in here. Okay, so I know that the game starts you off with a certain preset of buildings that it recommends that you use. Um, and, and some different... Or loadout, I should say. Um, so that way you can at least easily be starting. Um, we're not going to... Yeah, that's not going to work. We're going to change that. Um, yep. That's what it is. Whoa. Nick Hayes. Yeah, that's not right. Nukes rocket. There we go. Boom. Um, so, prefab buildings, I think. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, I don't need a moisture evaporator. Uh, fuel refinery is going to be key uh, for when I get the shuttle hub going, especially putting the rockets back and forth. I don't know if I necessarily need two sterling generators. Um, the approach to the game that I'm going to try to do um, is... I'm really going to try to focus on establishing uh, self-sufficiency early on um, and kind of just slowly upgrading from there, I think. So I'm going to take off one of the Sterlings. I'm going to bring it, one just in case. Um, two orbital probes. Um, I don't really need food right now. I'm not bringing any extra drones, which... Eh, got one and one and one. Um, hmm, that's a very good question. Let me go to... Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Load it. Go back. Go to next. There we go. Sorry. I could have just clicked here. Like I said, I'm still learning. This is my first time in here. So down to there, I'm wondering if I should not bring any of these prefabs, if I can fit them in there. Um, th no, I can't actually. Never mind. So that's not going to work. Um, all right. Uh, let me see. I think that I'm going to bring... Um, I'm going to bring one additional probe. And I'm going to throw in some extra drones. But cool. Rock on. Let's do that. All right, so select a landing spot. Uh, let me see here. I don't want something super easy, but I also... I want I want a challenge to it. I don't want it to be like, oh, this is, you know, this is great, but it's not really that good. Um, let me see here. 80, 115. Well, I like that one. So you get the difficulty bonus and how everything that you do deciding up to this point will modify your difficulty bonus. And I'm obviously playing uh, not that high. I've seen some people playing it like high fours, low 500s. Like, it's crazy. Um, but again, I have not played the game, so I'm going to kind of try to jump in here as best I can. Get over here. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. 
I'm really thinking oh, that one right there, to be honest. Relatively flat. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, let's do it. Boom. Oh, I'm so glad this game is out. I've been waiting for this for so long. Um, Welcome to Mars. All right. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo, a remotely controlled eyes and hands, hands on the red planet, the drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, oxygen, and power. Sponsored by America. Commander Profiles Rocket Scientist. Fantastic. Let's get going. All right. So, um, I have got... Um, is Desiree home for the rocket? Promising I've been scanned for research. Yeah, that's the initial one. Great. Thanks. Um, one thing I am going to do before I do anything is... Obviously, this is the one where they selected us. Uh, they pre-revealed for us. I don't see any water, which could be a slight problem. So, I'm actually going to fire off some of my probes. And I'm going to put one... Let's Anomaly try right here. found. Okay. Well, that's cool. It's not exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's do one right here. Oh, good lord. Give me water, please. Okay. So that's a slight problem. So I'm really hoping metals, metals, build up area, metals, metals. Oh, oh, water up there. I hope we got some water closer than that because that is going to be a problem. All right. I'm going to actually touch down right here in the center. We're going to start getting ready to go. Um, oh, let me see here. It doesn't really matter, to be perfectly honest, uh, in my own. Uh, for yeah, okay. Um, I think so. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Whoops. Remember, I'm still learning. Okay. Um, that should cover just about everything that I want to do. Uh, smash when you land it right there. And here we go. Our rocket is coming down. We're finally touching down. <laughs> it's been so long. I've been waiting. I'm so glad this game's out. I can't even describe you. Um, oh, I need to unpause it. Or we're going to be sitting there a long time. Oh, there's the shadow. It's coming down, coming down, coming down. Sweet! Oh, that's so awesome. Seriously, how can you not like that? That's fantastic. And it's going to unload all of our drones, rovers, collectors, everything like that. It's going to come right on out of here, which is great. All right. So, obviously, the first thing I really need to get used to doing this, because I'm going to keep doing it over and over again if I don't. Um, okay, permanent buildings are constructed by drones. Open the building with RAM or B. Okay, so the building place at drive left click. All right, so there's a the building. Large solar panel with journal about the buildings. Okay, track it. So, one thing I actually really want to learn how to do. Um, I don't know if I can start scanning yet. I think I can. If I start clicking... Yeah. One, three, four... Perfect. All right. So I'm definitely gonna start pulling concrete out of here. I got a metal mine that's over here. Um, so I'm gonna start issuing out some orders. Okay, the explorer. I want you to go and oh, I need to actually click on my research too. I totally forgot to do that. All right. So researching technologies. Uh, research will unlock various benefits for the colony. Researching any technology will make a new technology in its field available for research. Changing your active research will preserve the progress of the previous research technology. Sweet. All right, so now these are completely random, what I've heard. Yeah, I know I can analyze it. I got it. These are completely random. So obviously they start off at like 1,000 and they get much more expensive very, very quickly. But um, I think it's like past year they start getting kind of nuts. Um, and it does go all the way down there for all five of the tech trees. Um, but however, these beginning ones are all random, which is awesome. Well, all of them are random. So the order is really cool. Um, obviously, I have the CO2 jet propulsion. That's part of the benefit of having the... Uh, leader being the uh rock or the yeah rocket scientist so pretty pumped about that that's gonna be great because those are gonna be help us with our supplies and everything um so we have subsurface heating increased local temperature in cold areas and protects nearby buildings from cold waves consumes water uh systematic training scientists and botanists have plus 10 performance when working in their specialty robotics drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones and the maximum drone increases 80 that's pretty good Ooh, that's an outdoor building that produces food that's really good too we're gonna need that however Decommission protocol is very, from what everything I've been seeing, is very, very important. So we're going to do this. We're going to go one, and then I'm going to queue up some other ones. I think we're going to do that one second. We're going to do this one third, that one fourth. Oh, no, I'm reorganizing them. Oh, no. Okay. How did I do this? One. 
get this back together. All right, one, two, uh, yeah, three, four, five. Okay, great. So those are going. You always want to have research um, in this queue. Something has to always be in here. Um, the reason is that when you explore some of these anomalies with your um, the RC Explorer drone or the yeah RC does it called yeah RC Explorer, you will. If you get like, uh, let's say the to complete it's a thousand research points. If you scan an anomaly and get fifteen hundred research points, it's going to you're going to lose five hundred points if you don't have something else that can already fall back into the extra points, which is great. Um, I actually like that feature a lot. All right, so we're going to put you over here. Um, I'm then going to take uh, let me see rover. I'm going to actually move you a little bit out of the way there because that's irritating. And RC transport. Uh, I'm not going to mess with you immediately. Uh, let's pause real quick. So uh, I'm going to press B, open the build menu. So I need to start getting some things going here. So we're going to start with power. Uh, we need a large solar panel, which would it requires some metal, which we have plenty of there. Um, but what I'm going to actually do is put storage. And I'm going to put a... I'm going to do general storage, I think. Yeah, universal. There we go. Um, so now I'm actually just going to place this... Uh, I'm not too picky about it right now, to be honest. Let's put one right there. Um, and now, because this right here, the blue line is that's the command radius. So the drones can actually sync up to this... Uh, it's actually got one drone in it, or this commanding it by right now, um, from the rocket ship. Or you can move your rover around, um, and they can also control. I mean, like, see, he's got four out of the eight drones available. Um, he's controlling them. So if I put this down here, the drone should start going. Oh, those things are awesome. Oh, those are so cool. Um, they're going to start going around and collecting different things. Um, and putting them in this universal storage, which is great. So I'm actually going to speed up time just a little bit here. All right, so let them start doing that. We're going to get a concrete plant, I think, over here. Anomaly found. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Which one's that? Anomaly. Uh, oh, the research goals. I think that's straight research points. I think is how that one works. Yeah, we got to build a concrete extractor. I know. I'm getting there. All right. Um... They're loading up. Come that'll be out here. I have to remember how you do that. Is it this one? Yeah. So this window, the resource overview window, everybody I've seen has had this up continuously, and I kind of agree with that. Um, you can't really tell exactly what you got going on um, Anomaly without that analyzed. up. Oh, sweet. Stone achieved. New techs are available. I locked an achievement. Awesome. Um, incoming. Whoa. Easy. I just got here. Easy. What? Did it destroy it? Are you serious? Oh, okay. So we're going to go over here. We need to get him fixed. Come over here. Get your drones and get him fixed. What? Game, I just got here like 10 seconds ago. What are we doing? Um, new techs available for There's research. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Ooh. Okay, following techs have been revealed on the research screen. Explore AI and productivity training. Sweet. I think Explore AI... Yeah, that one is actually really important um, because it gives you 100 research points per soul for each RC Explorer, that, Explorer vehicle that we have. And right now I'm only getting 300 points from the sponsor, so I'm getting 300 per day. Um, but I can actually build a lot of different things that go into this to add additional uh, research points, which that's awesome. I'm going to have to actually get going on that probably soon. We need to get this guy fixed because he's totally just not having a good day. Yes, please fix him. Stupid meteorite. I'm going repairs. Perfect. Boom. He's back online. All right. Uh, let me see. Let's zoom back out. Uh, whoop. I'm gonna have to get used to that. It's gonna. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen a lot. All right. So we're gonna click here. Get those moving over there. All right. And okay. Actually, gonna take you. What is that? Those are ooh metals. Okay. So I want you to gather some metals. So click here gather some metals and get those back in there so i'm going to use him i'm going to have him fill up on metals and drop it over here because obviously i think they're just unloading our stuff that we currently have right now which that's okay too um let's move you back over here i want you in range um okay what is that more metals with 41 that's awesome um okay so they're gonna pick up there uh but, 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 let's get this drawn out here uh let me see so we're gonna go to research power. complete Anomaly analyzed. Ooh, decommission protocol. Sweet. All right, so we're going to put on... I think we're going to do some solar power. 
Now, the rocket's right here. Now, anytime a rocket lands or takes off, it's going to kick up a huge amount of dust. When that happens, you can actually, it'll cover the buildings, which is really cool. The models will actually change, and they'll, they'll take on, like, a reddish-brownish hue to them. Um, and it pretty much the bad thing that it does is that it makes it so you have to run maintenance on those objects a lot more often than you do if they weren't in, like, the blast zone of the rockets taking it off and stuff like that. So, I think what I'm going to do, because these right here, these extractors are going to kick up a lot of dust as well. Um, this mine is going to kick up dust. However over here if i can do this and not have it get punched by a meteor i'm actually thinking i'm gonna put some solar panels right here oh crap i forgot how to do that so i think if you hold shift right i think it's shift yeah all right so we're gonna start off with three and i'll explain why in a little bit i'm gonna try to well i'll just do it right now i'm gonna try to bring in some additional um power uh, so solutions to the uh, the colony here. And one of the things I want to do is I want to try to stay away from solar. I'm going to use it, but I really want to focus on wind. Um, so especially because it looks like we are very high up. Yeah, I need to build a center tower. I got it. Yeah, see, we're if we were down here, I'd be a little bit more concerned. But up here, we'll actually get a bonus to using our wind power due to the, the area that we're at. Okay. Oh, drone's recharging. Sweet. Okay, so we need to put some power cables in here, too. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're going to run a power cable. I think I'm actually just going to do it just like this. And then run it down. Oh, do I have to go around? That's fine. I'll just go around. All right, get that built. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm so glad it's here. Um, all right, let me see here. How much do you have? You have 15? I think they can carry, they can carry 30. Yeah. I wish I knew what that is. It just looks like it's random. Um, how about that? Oh, there we go. Pick that up. All right. Two solar panels are up. Let's um, also get them ready for a concrete extractor because that's one of really the thing we're going to have to start with. Um, I believe center mouse rotates. Yes, it does. Awesome. Okay. So if you look over here uh, where it says status, I can't really... There we go. So there's going to be a status block that pops up right there. Um, that's one of the things you can use to actually help with the placement of your object. So obviously, so the grade is very high, which is awesome. It means I'm going to pull it out really fast. And it says the available resource is 533.9 concrete. Um, and obviously, if I shift it around, it'll change. So I actually, I think where I had it was Sector scanned. Good. I'm just going to put it right there. That works. <laughs> Let's do it. So we're going to put that there. Uh, I can change priorities. Yep. Oh, it's good. Okay, so that says it doesn't have anything... <clears throat> excuse me. It must be connected to a power consumer. That's why it looks like it's not plugged in. That's all right. Uh, okay, you're full, so I'm going to have you come down here, and I want you to unload right here. God. They took a lot of time and a lot of... You can tell that when a developer makes a game, and there's a lot of detail in it, and it's the small things in it that really make a game good... Um, you can tell that they actually cared about their work and they had a lot of passion you know, behind it. Uh, and that was one of the things, the more and more I watched and the more I learned about this game, it really seemed like this was going to be one of those times where a, uh, uh, a developer really took the time to make things the way they should be. All right, uh, I'm actually thinking we need another storage unit, or I might just want to put a metal one down here just to make life easy. So I think I'm actually going to do that. I'll put it over here, right there. And I want you to drop off. No, clicked the wrong one. Yep, I did. It doesn't work like that. Okay, so you unload that. Perfect. And get back over here and take that. Uh, where is my RC Explorer? Where are you at? Right there. Cool. Go over here. Unlock some new tech for me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, let me see your service. Oh, that's right. You can adjust the, the how much area is serviceable on them. That's really cool. Um, so we're going to keep... Once this gets up, we're going to need a... we got enough storage there, I think, to start... Um, we do need some kind of power accumulator, which I don't think I have one. Uh, I didn't bring one. No. Okay, so three concrete and two polymers. So I've got 20 polymers in storage, which is pretty good. We are going to need a power accumulator anyways. So I think I'm going to start one. Um, I think I'm actually going to put it right here. That looks good. Anomaly analyzed. New texts are available for research. Sweet, what do we got? More to the barren environs. Uh, the following texts have been revealed on the research the screen. Hydroscopic vaporizers. 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 Low G drive. Let me see what we got there. Uh, low G drive. Rose. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, ooh, fuel compression. Rocket cargo space increased by 10,000 kilograms. That's pretty sweet too. Hydroscopic vaporizers. 
moisture vaporator upgrade. Oh, water production increased by 50%. Okay, that, that'll be cool later on. I'm not really too concerned with it immediately. That one is a huge one, uh, to be honest. Um, or that one, uh, kind of speed everything up. But first, we're gonna put that one on there. All right. Okay, so we're producing concrete there. Now, out of the back of the concrete plants, you'll actually start to get what's called waste rock. Now, I have don't know what it is, but I know, like, see, there's a little concrete box, and there's the waste rock that comes out of this, just the byproduct. This is useless right now, but from everything I've been seeing, people are saying that later on in the game, there will be a way that you can actually use that the waste rocks to either produce concrete or they... Yes, yeah, see, there you go. Your extraction of waste rock is a byproduct, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this stop working. Yeah, so we're going to put in a storage area, and I... I'm a little, uh, how do, is a nice way to put this. I can get a little crazy when it comes to storing resources. So, I really need to just hold down shift. I need to get used to doing this. Research complete. There we go. Keep, oh, just stay out of here. Sometimes they'll drop resources, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know if they have, or they will this time. I don't know. We're going to see. <laughs> We're going to learn today. Um, all right, six medals there. What else we got? Uh, you're picking up stuff there. What is out here that maybe I haven't picked up yet? Yeah, come on, grab that. Um, okay, explore. What else we got? Zoom out. Yeah, I've got one way up there, but I don't know if I really want to send... Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Oh, uh, no, he actually doesn't have enough power. That's the other thing, too. you got to be careful with these. So the, the power runs out, and they will... Uh, they'll just stop out in the middle, and then you have to send a droid or uh, an RC rover out there to help uh, get them powered back up or fixed or whatever, like I just had to do. So, all right. So he's going to get charged up. game is fantastic. See, charging battery off power grid. That's really cool. Power accumulator. All right. You're still working. You're working. Great. Got 18 concrete. Fantastic. So I'm actually going to pause real quick. We're going to get some plans going here. So let's get a uh, wind turbine. Takes one machine part and four concrete to build with a half machine part for maintenance base production of five. All right. Um, I think that's where I want to go with this. I think so. My biggest problem is right now is we don't have any water. And that's going to be... That's going to be an issue. So let's... Uh, buh, 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 let's do this. I'm actually going to do... Actually, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do... Oh, every time. Really? Okay. I didn't say I was smart. I'm just saying I'm here playing. Okay. So let's start with that. All right. We really need to find some water. This is bad. We need water. So, I'll actually need a sensor tower, too. All right. Let's do that, too. Let's get that queued up. Um, pause real quick. I'm not sure where sensor towers are. All right, there. What's it take? Uh, okay, we have both electronics and that. All right. So, I'm actually just going to build that kind of out of the way. I don't know if it needs... Does it need power? I think it does. I know there's an upgrade later on. You can get it where it doesn't need, like, maintenance power. doesn't need anything. But I think it needs power. So, I'm actually just going to plop it down right here, I think. Or can I put it like, yeah, obnoxiously right in the middle? Yeah, let's do that. And let's get that actually on a high priority. Let's get that done. All right. So we're getting concrete. We're starting to make headway slowly. Um, building's not working. Probably because we're out of power. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. I think that's actually a fantastic place. So we got everything. We touched down. We made it to Mars. So I think we're going to put a cut in right there. Thank you very much for uh, joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, uh, a like at the bottom. It means a lot to me. Um, also, see uh, in the description, I have links to my social media. Please hit me up on Sector Twitter. That'd be great. Love to talk to you guys and girls. And I will see you here shortly. Take care.